Hi guys, this is Tuan, your Real World Pew Pew. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Dakota Myers. I'm a little late to the uh, game on the discussion here, but I'm going to give my two cents about, I know he is a Medal of Honor recipient, he served in the military, blah blah blah, he's probably killed a few people, I have not done research on him, but I'm going to get into a little bit about it because he's bagged on average people like you and me, about play, having plate carriers and uh, running around looking like military people, but we do airsoft or milsim and not have ser and not served in the military, and we're just a bunch of um, wannabes. Well, in the video you can tell that Dakota Myers was drunk, so he is. You know, granted, yes, he served in the military. He's killed who knows how many people. Yes, he served, and he's a Medal of Honor recipient, but. When you, have, when you talk trash about other people like that, he has an ego problem. His ego is writing checks that his body can't cash, obviously. Now, let's talk about me real quick. A little history background. So, myself, um, I did not join the military, and it was my fault. Um, when I took the ASVAB test, and um, I wanted to join the, uh, the Navy for one... I only wanted to join the Navy. That was it. I didn't want to join the, uh, the Air Force or the Marines or Army. I wanted to be a Navy pilot flying F-14 Tomcats. That was my dream. When I took the ASVAB test, my electronics score was off the charts, and so they wanted to send. They wanted me to work on nuclear warheads, and you know, on a submarine. That was their. That's what they offered me, and I turned it down. My dad was not. He wasn't too thrilled about it, but it was my choice. I am now married. To um, my wife, she served in the in the air, in the Air Force, so I can't disclose what job she did, but she was deployed in Italy. And for me, back in two thousand and seven, I did work for the military. I was a military contractor, or a civilian with a military contract working for the military. So I did serve. I did not go to combat, obviously, because I was not in the military. Now, uh, my dad, he served in the Vietnam War. He's killed several guys. Now, let me get into that real quick. Just because my dad served in the military, he killed several people because his base got jumped, and he got jumped, so he had to kill a few guys. That does not make him a killing expert. My dad, he's not an operator like every military guy claims to be. He hunts. He's decent at... He's good at shooting, but he does not know a lot about firearms. Now, me, when I got all my gear, my plate carrier, my plates, all my ammunition, my guns, my dad has no clue how any of it works because it it's above and beyond his pay grade. He didn't have any of that stuff when he was a non, and he is no expert, proclaimed expert, like every military guy thinks he is. Now, when it comes to Dakota Myers bagging on people that, you know, have plate carriers, and just because we haven't killed somebody, or we serve in the military, doesn't mean that we are not proficient. I've taken a lot of training, uh, private training, through the years, I've built my plate carrier numerous different numerous different ways to work accordingly to where I live. Live in Flagstaff, Arizona, so it's you know you have a lot of mountains, you have a lot of trees and desert. So my my kit is de is defined by the environment I'm at, and plus the training that I've done is based on survival for my family. So am I not allowed to train and gear up to protect my family? Or am I just posing according to him? So just because, I mean, granted, yeah, I, I worked for the military. So does that qualify me to have a plate carrier? Because if I did not work for the military, then I'm not allowed to have a plate carrier according to him and run around and LARP. So... I like to know his thoughts about that. Now, hold on. 
Sorry, I had to take a pause there for my dog. Now, my wife served in the military. She was deployed in, in Europe. Now, can she outshoot me? Or can she outrun and gun me? Because she's qualified, according to Dakota Myers, she's qualified to have a plate carrier. Which, I bought one for her. I bought a plate carrier for her. I have her own, I have her own kit. Now, my wife has some small health issues. She can't outrun and gun me. Because I've trained ever since I was a kid. Since seven years old, I've been training to shoot. I'm 45. There's no way that my wife can catch up to me and outshoot me. So, according to Dakota Myers, if I'm LARPing, I don't claim to be a badass. I am no proclaimed YouTube expert. I am no expert of any sort, but, but, I have gone to the shooting range, I have gone to shooting matches with professionals, and I've outrun and gunned them, but according to Dakota Myers, I'm not allowed, or I'm a poser, so I'd like to hear your thoughts about it, because I know a lot of you out there during the whole uh, pandemic and uh, igno presidential inauguration, the whole world went to shit. So everybody got geared up. Now, I do have, I do agree with him on one thing, though, or, or several things. One is when you see the airsoft guy, the guy that has a full blown kit, his airsoft set up, and he weighs 300 pounds, trying to run and gun. Now, He's going to take his kit, modify it to be a real gun setup, not knowing that Airsoft is just toys, and then, yeah, try to go out and, you know, be an operator. That's a joke. I understand that. I've seen that many a times. Or you have the guys out there with the stolen dollar. They walk around, you know, they have their little tight shirts on, and they have all their patches on. Claiming to be some kind of military, you know, black ops, uh, whatever. And, yeah, you know, and they're a kid, whatever. And you confront them and, yeah, it's stolen dollar. Yeah, that right there, they deserve to get their ass kicked. But I'm talking about guys like you, me, that are out there protecting our family. We actually train. We go out. We spend money on real good weapons, train, and we have our own kit. We're in this intent, it's, you know, in essentially the urban combat area. But according to Dakota Myers, um, we're a bunch of LARPers. Now, here's another thing. I have a lot of friends that are, that are in SWAT in the police force that are SWAT team members that have never served in the military. Are they posing? Because they have the exact same kit that I have. Some of them have the exact same gun that I have. But are they posing? I don't know. Granted, yeah, they're serving their community as a police officer. Again, I served in the military as a civilian contractor. I don't know if I qualify or not. Now, for the, those of you out there on my channel, as well as my trolls, I know all of you train, have your own gear. Do you agree with Dakota Myers? Or do you think he's, granted, yes, he's military. He's a Medal of Honor. But do you think he's a joke? Do you think he has a huge-ass ego that's bothered by normal people? You know what? If I go out with him to go shooting, I would probably be just as good as him. I'm not going to pat my own back, but just because you have you have not served or killed somebody in the military doesn't mean that you can be almost an operator. 
Now, I have a few friends that are in the military or served in the military, family members included. They are not operators. They are not professionals. Um, but majority of the YouTube channels you see out there, like 90% of them, every single person that served in the military is an operator. No, my dad, he served, he's killed people. He's no operator. He is an average guy. I mean, he's good at killing shit. I give it to him on that. If he wants to kill a motherfucker, he will. But he's no operator. So I am more of an operator than my dad because I've done more running and gunning than gunning than he has. I've shot and I've sh shot multiple multiple different types of calibers and my gear. He looks at it, he's like impressed with all the stuff that I have because he has never had it in non. So, again, I want to hear your thoughts about it. I know I'm just ranting, but I want to hear your thoughts. Please, for the guys out there on my channel, fill my inbox. I want to hear your thoughts because I want to see what you think about him, Dakota Myers, and what you have because you guys out there are doing the same thing I'm doing. We're training. We're there to defend our families. Um, we, we we carry our guns in public, you know? So when shit hits the fan, or if it ever does, at least I'm prepared to some degree. But according to Dakota Myers, I'm just a fucking wannabe. So... This is your wannabe world world pew pew. Again, hit me up. And if you're new to my channel, which I'm, I'm actually got, I've got a, quite a few subscribers now. I'm at, I'm at 163, which is it's amazing. Um, subscribe, like, whatever. I don't care. But I want to hear your thoughts. Just give me a shout out. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.